Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what I do with my fresh produce. We went to Trader Joe's, picked up some fresh produce along with some other goodies. By the way, this is the best chocolate cake I've ever gotten from a grocery store. Mm -mm -mm, so good. But back to business here. Uh, I use a salad spinner most of the time to wash my produce. I like to just remove the lid. It's got a little colander in there. I like that you can uh, just pull that out and I'll show you how, how that all works when I wash my produce. So I just put all my produce in here. Now granted, not everything will fit like you see here. So I have another method to show you for if that happens or if you have too much to fit into a salad spinner. But most of the time this works out for me. So I'm just going to fill this up with some water. And then I'm gonna add a splash of white vinegar. It's a little bit heavy handed. You don't need that much, <laughs> just a splash. And then it's gonna sit in here. I kinda of like to swish it around. It's gonna sit in here for about 10 minutes. If you have something that you want to peel the skins off, maybe it's a not organic peach, um, you can leave it in there up to 30 or 45 minutes and that skin will peel right off. But 10 minutes is good to get most of the pesticides off. Even organic fruits will have a kind of organic pesticide, so it's good to wash even your organic fruits. And after that, I'm just going to rinse the vinegar off. You don't taste anything at all. Uh, sometimes I like to do something extra for things like peaches or cucumbers, especially if they're not organic. I will give them a baking soda scrub, and sometimes I do this for produce that I haven't had time to soak in the vinegar bath, and I will give it a good scrub of baking soda and water, and that also removes a great deal of the pesticides. Okay, and then you can just set your produce out to dry. You can either spread it out on a towel or you can just put the whole colander set on a towel to absorb any kind of water. Then you just pour out your vinegar bath and voila! You're done. I like that with that method, you can also do your vinegar bath on the countertop and not take up your sink space. So this next method is if you have a lot of produce or large produce and you're just going to really clean out your sink, make sure it's all clean, no bacteria hanging out in there. And then once we get it all clean, we're going to use the sink for our vinegar bath. So basically the same process. I'm just gonna fill the sink up with some water. I'm going to add a splash of vinegar yet again. And I'm gonna load up my sink with all of my goodies. And I like to put pretty much, you know, everything in here, even oranges that I'm going to peel because sometimes I slice that with a knife. So I just wanna make sure the outside of that is clean as well. Okay, now that all my produce has been gone through a vinegar rinse and it's set out, so we're going to store it in this amazing bag. It's called a veggie bag. And I wanna show you this produce that I'm taking out has been in there for over a week. This was last week's produce and it looks like I just got it from the grocery store. This bag has been amazing for extending the life of my produce, keeping it crisp. They promised crisp veggies for two weeks using this bag, and I'm gonna show you how that works. It is the only way that I store my produce to keep it fresh and crisp. And look at this, it looks just like I bought it from the store. So basically you take this bag and it's made out of organic cotton and you're going to run it under water to get it all wet. This is the magic for what makes this bag really work. The combination of the fibers with the moisture that the water provides is going to keep all of these fruits and veggies super crisp and yummy. It's amazing for grapes, you know, nothing like a crisp grape. So there's lots of space in this particular one. They come in different sizes. So you could have one for vegetables and one for fruits if you didn't want to have your fruits and veggies together. And friends, it used to be that you could only buy this bag at a specialty gift shop. That's where I got my first one. And then I had to scour around to try to find more on the internet and I couldn't find them anywhere. And finally, I reached out to the manufacturers to get my hands on some. So anyway, you're just gonna put this in your fridge in the drawer and it's gonna keep it super fresh. 
So I am giving away one of these veggie bags. I know you are going to love it, especially if you find that it, sometimes your vegetables rot before you can actually use them. This is going to prevent that. So this is a beautiful handmade bag. It's made by some lovely ladies in Maine. And like I said, it's organic cotton and it really works. You can find it on Amazon now. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it listed there because it was so hard to find before. So you'll find that link below if you would like to purchase this bag, but do enter into the giveaway for a chance to win. All you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and comment below. I'll announce the winner in about a week and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.